Good morning. I'd like to welcome you to a morning devotional time. Today I want to look with you at the Lord's Prayer. It's found in Matthew 6, verse 19 through 15, and we're going to take a quick look at this. This sort of presents a model. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. And that's that's important to immediately recognize as the Father as the sanctified one, as the holy one. He is holy. We are approaching a holy being, and he wants us to. That's the first thing. It's recognition for us that God is holy. The next thing, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. A lot of times we, we are glad to have God do his will somewhere out there, but up here on earth, you know, in heaven's fine, but here on earth, uh, we just want some of his will to be done. We're not quite ready for him to establish all of his will. But what we need to do is begin our prayer and, again, not only recognize that he is holy, but also to recognize and to indicate and agree with him. We want his will to be done in, in heaven and on earth. And when we say on earth, we mean in my life, his will to happen. So this is a submission. This is a point of submission to him and his, his things. 11. Give us this day our daily bread. Now we ask for our sustenance, the things we need for physical existence, and certainly the things we need for spiritual existence as well. A lot of times we jump straight in at, when we're praying to God. We jump straight over to this. Hi God, by the way, my big toe hurts, this hurts, I need this fixed, I need this money. That's not the way to begin our prayer to the holy God of heaven. Recognize he's holy, uh, ask that his will be done, and only then come and say, oh by the way, these are some of my challenges that I'm asking you about. And by the way, he already knows what your challenges are. But we are to vocalize them. We are to uh, at least pray to him about them. Verse 12 is also very important. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. There's some responsibility going on here. This isn't just calling to God and expecting him to rain down a bunch of stuff to us. There's a story of a fellow in the Bible. You probably remember it. He owed an extremely large amount of money to uh, his master, and he, he was called to account, and he couldn't pay it, couldn't possibly begin to pay it. And you know what? His master was gracious, and he forgave him that entire remarkably high debt. Then the guy went out. He goes out, and he finds somebody who owes him five bucks, and he chokes the guy, and he's, he's determined to get his five dollars out of him. Word, you might imagine, went back to the king, the one master who had uh, forgiven him the enormous debt. And let me tell you, this didn't work out very well for this individual. So we need to have a spirit of mercy, a spirit of forgiveness toward others. And that's very important. And come to God with that kind of a spirit, that kind of an attitude. So then we have, and do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And so uh, part of our prayer life should certainly be day by day to ask God to deliver us from evil. Sin is a very cosmic issue. It's a very big issue with God. Jesus died because of my sin. So I should be able to pray day by day, God, please deliver me from evil. When I come into a, a challenging situation for me, when I'm in a testing situation, help me. Help me to be delivered by your strength and power. Help me not to put myself into situations where I'm going to falter. So Lord, your strength is sufficient. And then of course, yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. God is on his throne. He can answer our prayers. He can answer them in power. So here's a model for us. God is holy. His will be done. Uh, then we have our own needs and our need to have a good spirit toward others. And don't lead us into temptation. And there's two more verses after this, verse 14 and 15, which tells and urges us to forgive others as we expect God to forgive us. So there's that attitude issue going on again. When you pray to God, have the right attitude. Watch for a beautiful answer. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, I want to have this good spirit. I want to have a good spirit toward others and, and a peaceful spirit toward others as I approach you. Please bless each of us, Lord, as we begin our day. Watch over us. Help us to have that spirit toward others. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, there's a brand new day stretching out, ready to go. Let's start it by praying to the King of the Universe. He has a blessing for you today, if you'll just hold out your hand and take it.